I'm not fatigued, dude. I'm just nah. fatigued of seeing shitty movies. Mm-hmm. Superhero fatigue. So when I say that to you, Adrian, do you think do you think that we're in a state of superhero movie fatigue right now? From a fan? well, when you first said superhero fatigue, I'm thinking Superman. Just like, dude, I'm done. <laughs> Um, are we in a state of superhero movie fatigue? Um, I just think that maybe with the volume of stuff coming out, Mm -hmm. um, I kind of agree with, uh, Mosquito Boy. Yeah. Um, you know, maybe there's not a bunch of, at the rate that the stuff came out in the last few years, right? Obviously you're going to have some shit coming out Mm -hmm. and and I, so you put this stuff out so quickly, it's not going to be good. Right. So I don't think it's, a, it's as much as fatigue as it is just, quality. you know, quality. Yeah. yeah. So that's what I'm thinking. So our boy Homelander's at it again, Adrian. Yeah. Anthony Starr. He's talking. Um, Anthony Starr. I'm telling you, dude, he's next Wolverine, man. Dude. I, I'm, next what? He's got the height. Yep. He's got the, the he's, he's already got the teeth. He does. Right? Yep. So he's, he's got that look about you, him. You know what's that, that picture that we had in our, our um, video the other day? Yep. Where he's got that evil smile. And you yep. even said when we were looking at the footage, yep. you're like, dude, Wolverine. That's it? Yes, that look right there. I agree. <laughs> Um, he he was on a few weeks ago where he said that Homelander would you know kick Superman's ass because yep. you know he's smart obviously he knows uh, obviously. That, you know God we're talking about genius level <laughs> intellect he's, he might be he might be smarter than Superman right I, I, he, he's definitely smarter than Superman he's gotta be bro. I he's gotta be <laughs> we should have him play chess or something um, anyways he was in an interview recently because actually the the first three episodes of the boys season four just dropped I don't know uh, if you knew that so I'm I'm behind I haven't seen any of them yet I haven't either but um anyways he he was in an interview and they asked him about superhero fatigue and he kind of he says no not at all actually I question where the fatigue lies and i think without digging into specifics of anything that has or hasn't been successful i'm very curious to see what happens around any notion of superhero fatigue when james gunn's superhero projects come out basically like talking about quality i mean right james gunn i know we, we joke about the dc a little bit but mm-hmm. he directed all the guardians movies guardian 3 yep. great movie yep. right so to his point like is it fatigue because when he puts something out People go watch it. Mm. They go, good movie, right? Yep. I mean, we've seen things like the Batman. We've seen things like Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse, across right. the Spider-Verse. Mm-hmm. I didn't feel fatigued going to see that. Did no, you? No. I felt fatigued fatigue with uh, Madam <laughs> Webb, though. Exactly. In, in Moon Knight and yep. She-Hulk um, and Captain Marvel. Right. Um, that's fatigue. Yeah. So he says, he goes on and says, I don't think the audience is fatigued. Let me put it that way. I think the audience is hungry. And he goes, we were just down in Mexico doing some thing down there. And he said they were hungry as hell for superhero content. So I think he didn't go as far as we're going to go. Right. But I feel like what he's saying is it's not a superhero fatigue. It's a quality issue. I agree. And I, I agree think once he's again. spot on, dude. Spot on. We should have Anthony Starr come on and do an agree to disagree. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I pulled some stats, Adrian, because, right. you know, I like the, like you said, fact check. I was going to fact check this, right? Uh-huh. So 2008 is when the MCU kicked off. Yep. Iron Man, right? That movie dropped, did 585 at the box office. There were five comic book movies dropped in 2008. Mm-hmm. Iron Man, Incredible Hulk with your boy Edward Norton. Mm-hmm. The Dark Knight. Okay. Hellboy 2. And then Hancock with Will Smith, speaking of, you know, the wild slapper over there. Right. Um, I like that, the wild, <laughs> the wild slapper. slapper. Big Willie style. Right. Yo, Big Willie style means something completely right, different now. Right. Exactly. <laughs> um, did you know the only movie out of those five to hit a billion was The Dark Knight? Just over a billion. Oh, yeah? Yep. But anyways, five movies in 08. There was only two in 09, Watchmen and X-Men Origins. Mm-hmm. But every year there's been about four or five. 2010 there was four. 11 there was four. And then we even get up to recently. So 2017, there were six movies. 2018, seven. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, we're talking, we're going from five to seven. Is that really going to cause fatigue, two more movies? No. I mean, how many horror movies come out that nobody talks about fatigue? Exactly. You know, how many, and those get real shitty. Yep. How many um, thrillers? How many dramas? How many mm-hmm. comedies that aren't com- uh, comedic? I mean, there's a lot of different genres. Um, I, I think people are still trying to silo comics, you yeah. know, um, outside of the mainstream, but it's a movie genre at this point. Right. Um, it's not a comic book movie. It's a movie. And if you come out with four or five or six or 10 of that genre in a year, 
that's not fatigue. No. It's definitely a quality issue. It is a quality. And I think what ha- what happened was the MCU, <clears throat> their quality was so good for so long. Mm-hmm. Now, they had a miss here and there, right? Sure, sure. But then it got to the point where they had a f- handful of misses in a row. Mm-hmm. And then everyone else puts out shitty movies, DC. So we're right. used to that. Like, they're used to that. But now it's like, oh, Marvel, you too? Y'all right. are going to put out shitty movies? Right. So I, I do. Th- I think it was a shitty movie fatigue, actually. I probably. Because you could handle, like, one or two shitty movies uh-huh. a year, but if you're getting, you're giving me six movies and four of them are shitty, mm-hmm. then I'm gonna be a little fatigued. You know? <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> it's kind of like you eat sunflower seeds. I do not. You do not. Have you ever? Yeah, I, it's not that I don't like them. It's just okay. w- not one of those things that's on my in, um, in my wheelhouse when Got I go it. shopping. Okay, <laughs> but you've eaten them. Before. Sure. You ever get that nasty taste in seed? Yep. Does that mean that you're not gonna eat sunflower seeds again? So. I, no to answer your question, <laughs> right? But like Dunkin' Donuts, not right. promote Dunkin' Donuts because they failed to send a box yes. of Joe, right? I didn't see so one today you go to you go to Dunkin' Donuts and you ask for a cinnamon raisin bagel, mm. right? However you want it, plain, toasted, <laughs> butter, whatever, right? And that first bite, that first bite, because you know where they put the cinnamon raisin bagels mm. underneath the onion bagels. Oh man! And that first bite <laughs> like is onion. <laughs> onion, and it's like, dude, you just messed up my whole day. Yep. Forget the coffee. You throw the coffee away. Right. You throw the rest of the bagel away. You spit the the uh, the bagel out. It's just mm. ruined. But Correct. so yes, that's the long answer too. Yes, go. I have done that. So se- so so let's talk about that bagel, right? Right. Let's say you got seven of them in a week. Yep. And two of them taste like onion. Uh huh. The other five were pretty good. Yep. You no, I do not stop buying the bagels. No, but if you got seven of them and six of them tasted like onion, mm-hmm. might maybe change your. <laughs> eh. Well, you know, you, that's when you fire the coach. There you go. You go in there <laughs> like, hey, manager boy or girl, yep. listen, um, can you just take the the the, the flavored bagels? You know, mm-hmm. take the cinnamon raisin bagel and shift it above the there onion. You, ones, go. you know, and we'll everybody's happy. Right. It's just a small move. Let me let me demonstrate. Shift to the top. <laughs> And then you won't be bagel fatigue. And you know? there you go. So, yeah, I, I don't think it's a fatigue issue at all. I mean, I'm going back, like, think about, so 2018. Yep. I'm going to name the seven movies that came out. Black Panther. Yep. First one. Mm-hmm. Great movie. Infinity War. Yep. Amazing movie. Deadpool 2. Mm-hmm. Really good movie. Ant-Man and the Wasp. A, no, not a, so much. A bathroom break. Like, I don't. <laughs> Aquaman, the first one. I like that movie. You like that one? Yep. Into the Spider-Verse. Amazing movie. All right. Venom, a weird, or as you put it, bad, a weird, badly entertaining movie. Right, right, right. right? So that was 2018. Right, so out of those seven, out two, yep. uh, Venom and uh, Ant- Ant-Man. Yeah. Actually, what? which which one? Which the, Ant-Man? Uh, the second one. The second one? Yeah. Actually, that wasn't bad it was, either. It was okay. No, no, So, but I, I put Aquaman. Um, so at, I put Venom at the bottom yep. and then Aquaman and then everything else. There you go. 2019, Endgame, amazing. Mm-hmm. Far From Home, really mm-hmm. good. Captain Marvel, a piece of shit. Yep. Shazam, another piece of shit. <laughs> did you like nah. Shazam? I did. I, yeah, I, I, was, I liked it, dude. Okay, it right, was I good. take that back. I take that back. Oh, you, you can have your opinion. <laughs> we can, we can, you know, have different opinions. That's I haven't okay. even seen it, so I was really oh, just asking dude. for your validation. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, it was, it was, it was a good movie. Okay, Joker, I thought was okay. I, I did not see that. So I, that? I, no, I so I'm not gonna say I liked it or didn't because I never okay. saw it. Dark Phoenix, an atrocity. <laughs> <laughs> and then the remake, the Hellboy. I, I don't know why we needed a remake. I, I, don't, so, I don't know. But but my point, right? Yep. It gets shitty. Twenty twenty one. You had Black Widow. Mm-hmm. Why do we need this movie? Shang Chi was okay. Eternals, mm-hmm. a bore fest. Mm-hmm. No Way Home, amazing. The Suicide Squad, atrocious. And Zack Snyder's Justice League, overrated and slow. Okay, so we had one good movie out <laughs> yeah. of that, that, that year. Okay, exactly. So I, you know, I'm not going to go through every year, but I'm. I don't. I'm not fatigued, dude. I'm just. Nah fatigued of seeing shitty movies mm-hmm. so well i mean just like you know they keep bringing back you know um martha kal-el uncle ben all this stuff <laughs> you I mean, said martha <laughs> we we get we we get fatigued off of you know that kind of stuff but we're still right. excited about what's coming out next correct so i mean they can very easily correct the fatigue oh, yeah. however you want to look at it yep just bring back some more amazing stuff and i think uh this wolverine deadpool is going to do it for the year I think so too. Dude. I, I I think I'm looking forward to it, and mm-hmm. we will definitely be covering it here. Um, Is there anything else coming out this year after Deadpool? Or oh yeah, we got. Um, we went through the list before. There's there's Craven the Hunter. Okay, that'll be out right. Yep. There's Joker two. Mm-hmm. Um, as far as a, there's nothing else MCU related. Okay, I, I don't believe there's the Venom three. We saw that trailer a few right. weeks ago with the freaking horse Venom and all kinds <laughs> of. So a lot of insanity coming out here. Um, I, I I think. Out of that short list, I'm, I'm I'm looking forward to seeing the um, Craven the Hunter. 
I think uh, that'd be pretty good movie. Yeah, I bet it will be the best of these stupid Sony Universe movies without Spider Man. Right? Maybe that could that possibly lead to a Spider Man. Mm. You know? Yeah. I think Venom Three looks like it's going to be an atrocity. Uh. I don't. I don't think that will be badly entertaining. It'll just be badly unentertaining. <laughs>